Hey everyone, in the news this week, Michael Gambon died, and so with two dead Dumbledores, it can't be looking good for Jude Law. Europe's oldest shoe is apparently found in Spain in a bat cave, which is odd because I assumed that Batman lived in America. And Google turned 25 years old this week, which means that Leonardo DiCaprio is going to have to go look for a new web browser. Also in California, the writer's strike in Hollywood came to an end, which means they can finally get back to the hard work of destroying beloved characters and rewriting the classics. The Disney share price was trading below 80 bucks this week, and that's less than half of what it was two years ago. I'm not sure if anyone here went to see this year's Little Mermaid remake or Indiana Jones 5, but I'm more likely to watch a YouTube video of some paint drying because then at least I could click the button on the bottom right to skip the ads at the beginning. A slightly bigger story though in California there was the passing away of Senator Dianne Feinstein. Some say she was a great woman and others tell the truth. She was 90 years old but unfortunately not the sort of nonagenarian like Warren Buffett who's still sharp as a tack. There's numerous videos of her online struggling to remain upright, understand what's going on and slurring through word salads of nonsense in a display that frankly makes Joe Biden look like a young Burt Lancaster. Lancaster famously starred in From Here to Eternity, and I think that's where half the senators see their career going on until. I mentioned Indiana Jones earlier. Well, Charles Grassley was in the Senate before the original Indiana Jones film even came out in the cinema. The setup makes the UK House of Lords look like a sixth form common room in comparison, especially because Alan Sugar's in there, and a lot of school IT equipment dates from back when he was flogging Amstrad computers down at Tandy. Back to America, though, the country's currently close to a government shutdown due to being unable to pass a finance bill, although with only 99 senators now, at least it won't be a tied vote. Except maybe it will be 98, because the Democrats also have Senator John Fetterman of Pennsylvania, who had a stroke last year, is unable to read properly, and his family recently tried to change the Senate dress code because he's unable to cope with buttons or dressing himself. The place is increasingly like Weekend at Bernie's, and the response for California Governor Newsom is to demand that the next California senator be a woman and also an African American this time, so the public must only be given voting options that fit that strict criteria. Presumably he doesn't trust the voters, but then I wouldn't trust the sort of people who chose to vote someone like him and his governor. Newsom believes in free speech, and if you disagree, you'll be arrested. On the other hand, the UK is just as bad. Like when Boris Johnson set very strict criteria that to be in the House of Lords, you had to both lend him money and know how to decorate his flat for free. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, click subscribe.